Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, that, that's what's gone off for the Orioles. As Buck Show likes to say, look, that's who we are. He always talks about the Orioles are not a ball club that's going to go out, spend a lot of money on uh, rented players for three or four months or even for a season. They've got to do well in the draft and they've got to do well in the people that they go out and pick up that other clubs may not have signed or have designated for assignment. And for the Orioles, Mike, it's worked. Oh, it absolutely has. And I think uh, since Buck Showalter came aboard, and to take a look at the spark plugs here, Nate McLeod back in 2012, Miguel Gonzalez, uh, Steve Pierce, and Jimmy Paredes, just to mention a few. Now, there's a long list of players that obviously contributed to the recent years of success. But when Buck Showalter came aboard, he kind of, took a look at the whole organization and he basically said we need to change everything I mean this guy pays attention to detail he had a new spring training facility put in in Sarasota even the minor league complex was rebuilt so the young players that came in started to feel like hey the organization's turning around they care about us they want us to do well so he's starting to build this uh, winning kind of feeling in the in the organization he made some player development moves he started weeding out players especially at the major league level that he thought might not have the attitude that he desired as a manager and he wanted to surround himself with with players um, and fortunately for buck he had great later leadership adam jones took hold of that leadership role matt weeders uh, hardy when he came over and nick markakis when he was here and that kind of helped police everybody all the new players that came in and the depth that dan duquette and buck created when they got the call to come to the major leagues they knew that they had to perform i mean the winning culture had started to uh, build so these guys learned how to win and every player that had an opportunity knew they better play or there's going to be another player with all that depth that you talk about and all the players that have had opportunities you know they better make the most of it when they come to the major leagues and understand that when you play for the Orioles now you have to catch the baseball I guess first and foremost and you have to want to win you have to have that desire to make yourself better and try to make the players around you better and uh, when you build the organization like that from the inside out obviously you get players who want to come there was a time when you got 14 years of losing and there's nobody who wants to come here so you change all of that and here's Chris Parmalee he has signed on with the Orioles they weren't sure they're going to be able to get him under contract they did here's another one of the players coming out of nowhere and filling a gap yeah well you know what this is the type of player they look for he's a former first round pick so obviously somebody saw something great in this player Nate McLeod is the same way he was an all-star uh, player with the Pittsburgh Pirates at one point some of the players that Buck Showalter and Dan Duquette go after have had track records in the major leagues there's a reason why they've been up to the major leagues they did something well Paredes another type of player Miguel Gonzalez wasn't in the big leagues but he was injured they're always looking for those type of players too okay had success in the minor leagues but coming off Tommy John surgery give him a couple years let's take a chance on him and sure enough these guys are making an impact at the major league level Parmalee comes aboard they needed depth at first base he's a great first baseman plays outfield as well former first round pick had success in the major leagues for four years up and down with the twins but got off to a great start in triple a listen he was right up to the end of his opt-out clause and fortunately for him he was hitting well in triple a buck show walter gives him a shot here at the major league level and he's producing three home runs in his first two games and jim rick we're going to see that the same group of players that we've seen in this philly series uh, trying to perform again and in large part at least half that lineup it's fair to say are players whom the Orioles are relying on in roles not as core players for this ball club. Thank you.